What is up guys, Nuhi here once again and we are back today with a new Maple Story video. Today's plan, pretty simple. We are here to create a new character, a character that I've never played before and I'm actually a little bit late. And let me say why. Apparently there's a pretty good Legion stat on this character. It's also a character that's going to be revamped pretty soon and that's the whole purpose of this is to take a look at this character and then do a review after the revamp version of it. It's in the hero category. So it is part of Phantom Luminous and all of those guys. Now, as a shade, I do not have any story, unfortunately. And I also do not know anything about this character. I don't know if it's a pirate category or if it's a thief category. I feel like it might be a thief category. I might be wrong. As for the name, it's going to be pretty simple. I feel like shade. Shade is also, you know, part of shadow, a shade of yourself, kind of like a mirror, a, a sh shady mirror. Wait, what's something that's, that goes well with shady? Okay, shades could also go well with windows. Can we think about a different kind of curtain? So I thought about a ghost and a shade if go shade works i'm not gonna put the e actually i'm gonna go with go shade there we go a blend between a ghost and a shade so we go by go shade i hope the introduction is not gonna be too long it says that we can skip it we are already level 10 feels like we don't have to be here for too long oh we are in the fox area now unfortunately i do not have any extra i mean i have a bunch of xp coupon i'm definitely gonna grab this pendant which is going to be very very helpful i do not know what i'm supposed to be doing oh there you go okay so we're about to talk twitch okay that's a pretty cool name so moonbeam is going to give us a few quests oh yeah, that was pretty simple but a few Okay, just three. Because medic balance permanently increases defense by 25. Okay, so swift strike will be one of our attacks. And obviously the jump, which is going to be pretty good. And I hope this character does have a pretty decent amount of... Ooh, strength. Ooh, this is the warrior version. Yeah, that I was not aware. I really thought this would have been a... I mean, thief. Says that you can use a fox trot to travel quickly. Oh, fox rod is this one here oh okay that was interesting when no enemies will be teleport forward teleports you forward to the furthest enemy in range speed bomb one it covers one percent hp on direct skill attack the initial skill the first drop skill kind of slow but it's nice it's got a pretty good aoe on it Ooh, the teleport skill actually is decent you don't even have to oh my lord you guys this is actually cool i mean for grinding if you're a bit lazy like myself it doesn't really teleport you always near mobs yeah and then i feel like if you are holding you know a direction key either left or right up or down it goes towards it yeah there you go something much more familiar Tennessee's second job thank you hey there's a cooldown on those attacks interesting Still prefer the first drop skill. Although these two purple skills are actually kind of weird. The imp attacks. Why would you have a cooldown on these guys? All damage from shades attack is by 10% for 60 seconds. 10 second cooldown. Okay, there's less cooldown as, as you level the skills. Trap debuff for a set amount of time. Ooh, these are debuffs. This one is a bit weird. <laughs> but I love the fact that we have a... Uh, I mean, they're beautiful. They're really beautiful skills. I mean, they're only second job skills. I don't know if we're going to be able to use it that often as we progress. A little bit of a throwback of the excavation map, you guys. This area is a bit different than what I remember. It used to have a three level floor and you would just go up and down and just clear the map as simple as it was. First thing I've noticed is that once you do max all of those Reaper skills, I'm going to call them Reaper skills, they actually don't have much of a cooldown. Just, I mean, a, probably a millisecond or so. So you definitely cannot use it as a mobbing skill. You know, I read quickly enough and I feel like those are mostly skills for debuffs. And not only that, but you also have this main attack at the moment, the punching on the ground skill. 
gives you some sort of, I think it is a, you know, a debuff of slow animation. Yeah, so all the mobs around you do become slowed. And other than that, we're really getting close to that 60. We've got five skill points, weaken, some chance per attack, and enervating spirit maybe summon. Currently increases defense, spirit bond three, so more increased attacks. This is an on and off button. When hit by an attack that would prove fatal consume the buff to deal 270 damage up to six enemies that's interesting spirit trap someone binding spirits to immobilize enemy is this a bind already i think it is a bind let's take a look at the new version of the scythe okay that one does have it again same thing a little bit of a cooldown but then we might be able to take get rid of it and our new attack so not punching the ground but mostly the, in front of you and if you do land all the punches it goes through and the side attacks also as you guys have seen brings you the mobs to you i don't think it's gonna work towards bosses but it does definitely work towards these little mobs spirit frenzy hold it down trust me it's doing something around you i don't know if they're rabbits penguins or snakes some sort of animal following you around it's just acting like bullet barrage like corsair's ultimate attack i'm gonna do it again because it's actually pretty cool i'm gonna try and figure out if they're fishes they're rabbits i think they're rabbits they have to be rabbits icy rabbits and some sort of a snake a sea snake uh level 99 <laughs> with the co shade and let me say i'm actually starting to get more comfortable with the skills I mean, this is giving a lot of Thunderbreaker vibes. And, you know, we we did create a Thunderbreaker, a Buccaneer, let's say. Buccaneers is actually a pretty OP class among the community, I think. A lot of people did mention it's a great bossing character. As for Shade, it's kind of looking towards what Buccaneer is. And it's not bad, but we do have to do a little bit more work, you know, to get a little bit more comfortable. Now, there's about 30 minutes left. For reset day i will actually quickly do the job advancement now we need to go to grand athenium i do not exactly okay i was going to say i don't know exactly if it's there what is this place flying books look at the library version it is a library actually guys this is my very first time coming here I was not aware that MapleStory had a map like this. Kills the librarian. This is a monkey. Someone's forgotten story. Ooh, okay. So this is actually a quest line. Your endless story as well. Okay. I will definitely come back at some point. I really want to enjoy this Grand Athenaeum, whatever this map is. Our new main attack, which is actually pretty decent big aoe wow love that and then you have the green version of it Oop. Mm, okay so the red one definitely is a mobbing attack this one will be a bossing maybe someone's a wind spirit to mm, i do not know i feel like it might be the bossing and then we do have another one death mark Okay, definitely have to take some time to read. Okay, I think we can possibly do a little bit harder versions. Ooh, maybe not. Okay, yeah, we have enough. We have enough. We have enough. It's not too bad. I'm really curious to see how much XP this is going to give us. All right, sitting at 13%. Okay, give us a full XP. A level, I think a one or two. Wait, how are we level 116? That was more than one level. All right, let's see how much XP this is going to... I'm going to pop my bind. Just to take it a bit easier. All right, so 30%. Let's take a look at the level. 116. I'm... 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 Just bamboozled. How is that even a thing? I, you know, even if there's no event for extra XPs, we could just find our own. A few moments later. Here are these guys up 74% of a 127, 130. Beautiful, beautiful. We gotta hack our way up 
to the highest level we can do with the monster park and the event. 130? 141? That is not a thing. I see why we're not able to do it with the Aaron. We could not do it because it was burning. I mean, that would have been 30 levels or probably something like that. We are sitting at level 161. All right, ladies and gents, we are back. It's a brand new day and I forgot how long and tedious it is to get up to level 200. Luckily today, we do have a few things to look at. I mean, we're going to be able to rank up to 200 real quick. We have a few gold potions. And before we do that, I just want to talk a little bit about the shade. Now, compared to the Aaron that we recently created, I don't really like the shade. I think this is a character that really does need a revamp, a remastered version of it. And before we do take a look at the skills and, you know, mobbing and all of that, I want to check a few skills with you guys and tell you the pros and cons based on my impression. And look, this ain't going to be a full review, all right? It's not two or three days of me using a shade that's going to make me a pro. Based on the third job skills, Weaken. This is a pretty decent skill. I feel like summon chance is only 10%. Per attack so if you're attacking 12 times the chances are really high the duration is only for 15 seconds it's a passive what it does is increases your damage for 20 percent the spirit bond level one level two level three they all are different it is a passive it's not really a debuff or anything like that i do like the fact that we have a bind early in the game and then with the urda bind that will be two binds, just like the Paladin. Now, if we take a look at the 4-drop skill, Soul Splitter, I don't like this too much. It is a debuff, but it's not a powerful debuff. All it does is kind of splits the HP or something like that. It does reduce final damage of the mob slash the boss, but it's only for 10 seconds. So, the Soul Splitter definitely needs to be revamped. I don't really like this debuff. There's also another one, which is death mark this one doesn't even act like a debuff all it does is it absorbs the enemy's hp that's what i'm reading currently so not too great of a debuff as for our mobbing spirit claw and bomb punch so spirit claw which is a green one it's great i love it's it, i love the fact that it's pretty decent aoe so if you have mobs on top you jump and you hit that i think even on this floor it would hit them if you're really yeah it would hit them if you're jumping and attacking but it's super slow and then this one here the falcon punch it's nice but you can't move with it i don't know how to explain this but you're always like it feels like your character is being stuck if you're using it you need to be constantly stabilized or mobile to actually do damage because if you're just jumping and doing it once i just test it out yourself you'll You'll understand what I'm saying. It's kind of clunky. Let's not forget about the teleport, which at this point, if you're going to mix a fire with a mage, give us a proper teleport, not a random teleport that sometimes works, sometimes doesn't, depending on where you want to be. And obviously it's for, you know, the closest mob. Sometimes you have mobs on top of you, but you also have mobs in front of you and you want to go up, but it teleports you in front of you. So that is an aspect of, of the shade that I do not like and then we do have spear incarnation it's great but it's not effective per se it does clean it's a good clean the map skill it just sucks that you have to hold down the key and wait instead of just you know pressing it once and it's just gonna clean up the map now i'm gonna go to a map right now all right so let me show you that incarnation skill right it's cleaning up the map perfectly great i love it but you're just stuck, you're mobilized, you can't do anything else while you're popping that. Not really, really great of a skill, in my opinion. We still have the fifth job to look at, and we're gonna do so quite soon. Okay, let's take a look at these ones. Smashing Multi-Punch, True Spirit Claw, Spirit Gate, Spirit Flow. Okay, let's take a look. I got it. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. So... Your main bossing skill, which is the claw attack. On the third strike, you have like a huge, a huge spirit that sub summons in and just destroys everything around. Yeah, I love it. That's a good addition. You know, again, if we don't have to add extra skills and we could just 
progressively make one skill better. I love those. Smashing multi-punch, I think. Yeah. Cool. I held down the key. I don't know if I had to hold down the key there. Infuse a land spirit with the destructive power of the fox god. Yeah, okay. Consecutive at 10 enemies to 60 damage. Yeah, during key down. Okay. Yeah, so you do have to hold down the key. It's not bad. I don't... Is it a burst? I don't know. Feels like a burst, but it's a pretty long cooldown. Yeah, so it is a burst. I think it's got to be in the burst category. All right, moving on. Spirit Gate. That's a buff. Oh, wait, it's not a buff. Oh, wait a second. It's an infinite portal of spirits. Look how many. Oh, they're like kind of like ghost bombs. They just go as soon as they touch one. They just explode. I love this. The only thing I would change on this is for it to track enemies and not just stay in that one area. I think that's the only thing. And it does last for a pretty long time as well. I love this. Dub this one for sure. Spirit Flow. Ooh, so we've got a spirit behind you. A purple one and a orange one. Interesting. I'm gonna read because these mobs are not it. Spirit that guides you flow as one within you. Empowering your attack. Attack that are automatically triggered are unaffected. True. Final damage plus 5% for 31 seconds. So this is something you have to use before your burst. Continuous channel skill trigger this way to have a duration of 3 seconds. Your damage increases by 550% and your final damage for 5% for 31 seconds. So this is definitely a boss skill. Pop this before you burst. Let's do a quick, quick recap. I feel like it's a decent class. There is a few shade mains I've seen around 280 plus. Strong character. A lot of, there's not much micromanaging per se. There's a lot of debuffs like Blade Imp and then Death Mark and then Soul Splitter. If you're binding, I mean, you got to pop these first, obviously. So, you know, debuff all of them by doing this, that one and the Imp. Right, so there you go. So you've debuffed the boss, and then you pop your buffs, bind, and then you go ham. But what do you go ham with? Just the magic claw, I think. <laughs> magic claw. The spirit claw. I don't know. So yeah, overall, I think out of the two recent characters that I've made, or should I say uh, the ones that are going to be revamped, definitely Eren's the top tier compared to Shade. If 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 I think Eren got a 7.5 out of 10, I feel like shade should get about oof, i think i'm gonna be pretty harsh i think i'm gonna give it like five out of ten like it's not great like at least the corsair had a bit of movement this has no movement it has no burst it has just a bunch of random debuffs and i please 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 do not hate me i do not have a full-on through review on this character it's mostly just a you know first impression and definitely because we're going to get a rebrand. But anywho, hope you guys did enjoy this one. If you did, give it a thumbs up to subscribe, share it with some friends. And as always, this has been Nuri. Spread your peace and love. And I will catch you guys on the next one.